So here we are, we're back on Bessie the bus and we're on our way to the town market. At the next stop, more people got onto the bus and some had animals and all the way they went to the town market. Mrs. Morris had a basket of chicken eggs to sell. Mrs. Austin had some homemade jams and right at the back of the bus was Farmer Evans with Billy the goat. Mavis said, oh, I'm not sure you're allowed to bring Billy onto the bus. Farmer Evans said, oh, please, Mavis, my own car is at the garage being fixed by Mr. Carter and should have been ready yesterday. I need to take Billy to the town market as I'm too old to look after him. I don't really want to sell him. It's more a case of finding a nice home for him. Well, Mavis is very kind and felt sorry for the old farmer and Billy, and so allowed them both to get onto the bus, as the next stop was the marketplace. Once again, Mavis rang the bell. The ding ding noise. Shall we all do it together? And ding ding. <coughs> and knowing it was safe, Jim pulled away. Five minutes later, Bessie was pulling into the marketplace. Mavis rang her bell. All together now, ding ding. Ding, ding, lovely, to remind him to stop. And Jim flapped his arm to tell everyone he was stopping. So let's do the arm movement up and down like the wing of a bird. Lovely. Then suddenly, Jim was very surprised. Can I hear you go, oh, oh, ready, oh, oh. Jim could hear the emergency ringing of the bell which meant that Mavis needed Jim's help. Now, when the bell is in an emergency, it doesn't just go ding, ding. It goes a lot of times. It goes ding, 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 ding. Can you do that? Let's all do it together. And ding, 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 ding. Jim jumped down from the bus and ran down to the back. And what a shock he got. Can you guess what it was? Well, I'll tell you. Billy, the goat, had his head right in the middle of the basket of apples and Billy was enjoying his little feast so much that he was blocking the aisle and none of the passengers could get past to get off the bus. So they were stuck. Jim said, Mavis, how did this happen? Mavis replied, well, it was a nice hot sunny day. I think we must have all dozed off to sleep. Oh dear, Jim, what can we do? Well, Jim had an idea. He ran back to the front of Bessie and got his lunch box. He opened the lid and took out his sandwiches. Then he ran to the back and called out to Billy. He said, Here, Billy, there are about one of my sandwiches, and quickly waved one under Billy's nose. Shall we all say it? Let's say it together. Billy, do you want a sandwich? Here we go. Billy, do you want a sandwich? The smell of Jim's sandwiches made Billy lift his head. Then Billy started to follow Jim's hand with the sandwich in it. Billy, in fact, followed him away from the bus and then Farmer Evans quickly grabbed Billy's collar and everyone could get off the bus. Well, what a kerfuffle. Mrs Carter was very unhappy with Billy and the farmer as Billy had eaten nearly all of her apples Farmer Evans was unhappy because if Mr Carter had fixed his car, he wouldn't have had to catch the bus. And Jim was unhappy because he hadn't got any lunch left. Billy had eaten his sandwiches. Oh dear, oh dear. Shall we all say it together? Oh dear, oh dear. Then Mavis started giggling. She said, well, Billy looks very happy and contented. He has a full tummy and a big smile. This then started Jim and Farmer Evans chuckling. Then Mrs Carter started to laugh as well as they all stared at Billy. Well, what are we going to do with that rascal Billy the Goat? said Mrs Carter. I can't have him because of my little cats, said Mavis. I can't have him because of my two doggies, said Jim. 
I can't keep him any more. I'm just too old, said Farmer Evans. So it started to look very sad for Billy. Ah, oh, shall we all say it together? Ah. Oh. Well, that settled that then, said Mrs. Carter. I will have to take him home with me. He can live in the orchard. He can eat some of the apples and he can graze on the grass, which will save Mr. Carter having to mow it. We'll look after him. Come on, Billy. Well, that was good news for Billy, wasn't it? Why don't we go hip, hip, hooray and clap loudly. All together, hip, hip, hooray! And what a nice end to the story.